This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee. Rumor has it. On the Breakfast Club. So listen up. Nah, 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 nah. All right, well, 50 Cent is upset with Stars, and he said he's leaving the network. He said, this is me packing my stuff. Stars sucks. My deal is up over here. I'm out. <laughs> they renewed Hightown, and Force is the highest-rated show they have. It's sitting in limbo. If I told you how much dumb-ish I deal with over here. And then he did some more posts, and he called for the head of development for G-Unit Film and Television to get ready and start packing their bags. All I see when I see posts like that is boundaries. I love the way 50 Cent uh, talks to Stars because... He is a money maker over there. He is he a is. ratings bringer. So when they don't do things the way he wants them to do it, yes, he sets his boundaries. Now he did sign a four-year overall deal with Stars in 2018. They said it was worth as much as $150 million. So now it's the final year of his contract. And we'll see what happens. But in the meantime, on Stars P Valley, they have announced that season two is coming. And I saw when uh, 50 wrote that, people were like, oh, wait, hold on, P-Valley's coming back, because people love that show also. So mm-hmm. no date was specified in the teaser that they put up from the cast, but it is coming back. Salute to 50. I think people really underestimate uh, how much content 50 Cent provides for stars, man. Drop on the clues bombs for 50 Cent. Now he provides a lot of content I mean, for it's, stars. It's, it's he brought stars back, because nobody unreal. was really... Yeah, nobody. Did. Nobody was watching stars. Nobody's it's talking unreal. about stars. Yeah, you're right. All right, now Cardi B and Offset... They went to one of our favorite restaurants, Brooklyn Chop House, and according to page six, they left a $1,400 tip for their $3,000 meal. So that's, that's really nice. dope. Mm-hmm. Shout out to uh, Brooklyn Chop House. If you ever come to Manhattan, Brooklyn Chop House is in Manhattan. I know people think, no, it's in Brooklyn because it's called, no, it's in Manhattan. It's right by the Brooklyn Bridge. Yeah, so great they restaurant. Call it Brooklyn Chop House. Shout out to Don Poo. And they're opening one in Times Square, so if you ever make that trip here, you know. Yeah, it's almost done in Times Square, too. All right, now, Dave Chappelle has invested in a podcast company, Luminary, and it's Pilot Boy Productions. They're investing in that subscription podcast platform. And so, uh, shout out to him. He said, I chose Luminary when he first put his his podcast, The Midnight Miracle. Uh, He said, I chose Luminary because they value artists and share my vision for reimagining audio content. The Midnight Miracle in our unique format is changing the podcast experience. So terms of his investment were not disclosed, but his production company will have a seat on Luminary's board of directors as part of the deal. I think it's going to be hard for people to ever, um, you know, want to pay for podcasts on a monthly basis when there's so many great podcasts available for free. Like it would take a, a, a whole lot of podcasts, you know, getting behind paywalls for people to start doing that. Yeah, I know his podcast is on there and it does really well. And I, from my understanding, he has some really big ones um, coming on the way, and he has some great relationships. So yeah, mm-hmm. but he's also Dave Chappelle. See. Exactly, but there's <laughs> some. He has some great relationships with people who are just as huge. So I'm sure he can make it happen. All right, and Willie Taylor has said that making the band set artists up for failure. You know, people were posting all of these controversial moments from making the band and saying it was like a boot camp, it was a, a terrible experience for people. And so Willie Tiller um, from Day 26 posted, learning experience, you gotta understand that people will do to you whatever you allow them. So don't let your passion drive you to the wrong destination. And he said, Day 26, Danny D. Kane are talented groups, but the situation in which we met was designed to fail. And Interesting. Yeah, so he talked about the platform, he talked about the contracts, and so just don't be too excited about something that you go for anything is basically what he's trying to say. But, I mean, majority of people will, though, right? I mean, that's been the music industry for years. Like, the music industry's always been predatory. It hasn't changed. It's not like they started giving out better deals. No, nah, they haven't. But people got to understand, too, that it's also an investment. You know what I mean? If, if Diddy put all that money into Day 26 and Day 26 flop, nobody's going to say, here's Diddy, here's your money back. So you yep. they do these contracts to make their money back. And hopefully when, when you make your money back, you can renegotiate. But if you don't make the money back or you're not a super-duper group, you know, what am as I going to do? Said, as I said, folks will, st- folks will still sign up for record deals tomorrow knowing that. Right. Because they want to be a star. Right, but, let, but let's, get it, let's not get it twisted. Nobody would know who Day 26 is or Danny DeCane if they didn't sign it, Diddy, if it wasn't on television, if he didn't invest that money into them. Nobody would know who they were. He put those groups together. He put them together. But I feel like nowadays people do have a lot more options. They do. As, yeah. and, and so there's a lot of different ways you can go to get out there. Back then, it wasn't like we had streaming services. Yep. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that didn't exist that exist now. So. But people still signing them deals, basically, though. Yeah. And basically. look, if you, if you live someplace where the music industry is not prevalent and you don't have a team of people that can help you get known, what else can you, what, you know, you might feel like this is the way for me to, to get my name out there. Basically, if you don't want to get got, you don't have to get got. But most people want to get got to have a good shot. 
And that is your okay. rumor report. Rapping <laughs> linen. All right, front page news next, what are we talking about? Yes, let's talk about coronavirus, the pandemic. That's still around? Yeah, what is going on? I'm not going to lie, I was feeling under the weather yesterday. I was just exhausted. I was like, man, I took an at-home test. Um, it was negative. I'm going to take another one today just to make absolutely sure. Cause Great. I don't... Didn't you read the sign when you walk in this door? It says, if you feel sick, don't come in. By the way, I must say that sign has been here since corona, though. <laughs> that has been iHeart has been saying iHeart iHeart had that sign up way before there was a coronavirus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, nobody yeah. listens to it. Well, front page news next. All right. If you got it, I got it. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. 